Recently, I had a Zoom conversation with Pierre Dibman of France. He not only shared his wellness and supplement story, but a shocking revelation and result of his wife taking NMN for just over a month. He started his journey by simply eating and drinking healthier. I started this path first through improving my overall health, and uh, um, I, I decided to go low carb. So I, be, I had been watching people like Dr. Berg or uh, a few others, uh, uh, Kennedy Berry and things like people like that, and I had to, which is very difficult, cut off bread and all the hidden sugars. Uh, basically, it took me three weeks to, to, to wean uh, from my addiction to bread. And uh, basically, the, the, I wanted, I really felt like I needed. After three weeks, it was fine. Um, and, uh, but I'm not uh, completely crazy about it, which means that I, I can eat bread once a week, once a, uh, a month or a week. Uh, I eat bread if I go to the restaurants, but I don't eat bread on a daily basis. Uh, I cut down a little bit on alcohol, meaning I try to drink wine over the weekend. Uh, but uh, mostly I started like this, um, and after a few months, results were obvious, you know, weight loss, uh, feeling better, sleeping better. After losing some weight and feeling better from a better diet, Pierre began investigating different supplements. He started with niacin, then resveratrol, and then vitamins K2 and D3. So in uh, February 20. 20, I started buying niacin, which uh, gave me essentially flushes, and I'm not sure it gave me much else. Uh, it gave you the, the, the flush, you got the red face, yeah. Yeah, 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 that, that was uh, completely obvious. So you, you cannot say it does nothing because you have this, uh, wow, <laughs> and uh, your wife looks at you and you, oh, you're all red, what's happening, you have an allergy, no, no, it's... Uh, it's normal. Then I switched to prolonged release, which uh, was better from this point of view. And, um, but uh, I'm not sure it did much. Uh, not sure. But then I started uh, to, to go further. I um, took uh, resveratrol, which I think was doing something. Uh, and uh, more importantly, I think, I uh, took also quickly in 2020, a daily dose of K2 D3, uh, which is uh, essential for your heart uh, uh, health. Uh, basically, uh, it's supposed to, and I think it's been proven that it takes calcium out of your blood flow and deposits into your bones. So it's, uh, it's pretty useful, it's very cheap, and it's uh, if you want to avoid uh, uh, <laughs> The cardiac issues, I, I think uh, after 50, it's something you should uh, put in your uh, regimen, daily regimen. I have many um, friends or neighbors who have had bypasses, heart attacks, uh, and uh, issues with stents. Uh, so I think that this is a very cheap and easy way to avoid it. And it's pretty natural. It's two vitamins, so there's no side effects. After Pierre began to realize the benefits of some supplementing, he started to delve into NMN. I started uh, seeing then David Sinclair, uh, Brad Stanfield, uh, you and others. And uh, basically I uh, bull bit the bullet and I started buying NMN, which was very expensive still. Uh, when was, when was that? When did ago. you start? So... Um, my research shows that uh, the first time I bought that was in December 21. Okay. I, I've been yeah, taking it for just uh, a few months, and I started on a low dose. So I started with half a gram a day. Uh, so it wasn't something that like, wow, uh, immediately uh, I want to dance all night, etc. Mm -hmm. But it was obvious after a, a week or two that there, there was some benefit. Um, but I wanted to be sure that uh, it's a safe dose, and I upped the dose to, to a one gram just a couple of weeks ago only. Mm -hmm. uh, and I put my wife now on, on half a gram. 
Um, so so we, we have a, a reasonable window. And, and I think also, because I know you're taking one and a half gram now, I think daily, uh, but, but I think people should really uh, not take the, the max that uh, David Sinclair. Well, you won't know who, if you don't start yeah. low. I started low like you well, and, and exactly. you need to kind of ramp into it and ease into it. I, I, I fully <clears throat> support that. And then you, <clears throat> otherwise you can't find your optimal level, you know, where it is. I, <clears throat> when, I, when I went to two, I felt like it was a little bit too much. So mm-hmm, that's when mm-hmm, I came mm-hmm. back down to one, one and a half. And that's where I seem to be like really cruising along steady, everything. Yeah. You, want, yeah, yeah. you don't want to feel, I mean, personally, I don't want to feel like I'm taking something really. I want it to, mm-hmm, I want mm-hmm. to feel normal. And so finding that, that good level, it creates that mm-hmm, new, mm-hmm. the new normal. Like many of us, after taking NMN, Pierre began to feel better, more active, more energy, basically look and feel younger. To gauge his results, He looked to pictures of himself, also performance in racket sports, and really the feedback from his friends and relatives. Because I'm 65, uh, I can compare to uh, 10, 20, 30 years ago, because I've been doing uh, 30 years of squash at a reasonable level, uh, playing four or five times a week. And now, after COVID, when squash was impossible, I switched to paddle because I moved, so it's not as intense, but still, uh, I play three, four times a week. So I I can say that uh, after a year or so of taking regularly NMN and a few other things, uh, I'm really back to to places I was 20 or even more years ago. Wow. and when when I when I see people of uh, 60, 65, 70, uh, they look old. <laughs> I, I mean, I cannot consider that I'm of the same generation. It's, it's really impossible. And and uh, it's obvious when you see it on pictures because then you say, oh wow. <laughs> and uh, my my our daughter who who stayed in Belgium, so so we moved a year ago. And she sees picture because we put on Facebook things we organize or concerts where I played recently. And she says, oh, you look amazing. You look like uh, I haven't seen you like that since 10 years and so on. So I was going to say, you look a little about 10 years younger. I have a lot of friends around that age, you know, 10 years mm-hmm. younger than you. And some of them mm-hmm. look as old or some of them look older. And I play in a 50 and over tennis. And I play mm-hmm, against mm-hmm. guys, they look they look much older than you. <laughs> They're only in their mm-hmm. 50s. So good going. Good for you. That's great. One thing Pierre has definitely done right is adopt an overall wellness approach, something we talk about often here on The Pulse. I don't think an man is going to solve all your problems Correct, yeah. if you have any. So first, you, you should put the house in order and then... And the men will be very useful, and that's possibly where the eighty twenty lies. Uh, is that uh, if if you're just taking that, but you are uh, you have uh, elevated sugar, you have uh, uh, pre diabetes, you have uh, uh, fourteen over hundred uh, blood pressure, then yeah, it's going to help, but it's not enough. So so I think you should really have a healthy life. And then this will be extremely useful. What I really love about Pierre's story is that it wasn't enough for him to feel better. He began to share this with his wife and she began getting results right away. Your wife, you mentioned your wife. What kind of benefits has she been experiencing or changes has she been experiencing? Well, she she started uh, recently. So she had, uh, you know, this uh, thing like men from Mars and uh, women are from Venus. So, but in fact, menopausal women are from Venus, not from Venus. So, so uh, most women uh, they they stop getting issues with legs, and they have to take uh, either hormone replacement therapy or something uh, for their veins. So we we had to to deal with this, and so there's a bathroom and there's other 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 things that, that help. But uh, we, we've been, uh, I've been putting her slowly on a number of things. So we started with uh, NAC, uh, and then I put her on uh, uh, half a gram of uh, NMN. And she, she had an immediately very, very good reaction on that. 
So um, she because she 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 was more dance, dance and yoga than sports. But uh, we we started this paddle together a year ago, and she she loves it and she runs and she moves and she hits the balls. And so it gives her energy. It uh, helps also. She doesn't feel uh, fatigue. Um, did I mention again this heat wave? So we have to play when it's 30 and right. more degrees. Um, so in the beginning, a year ago, after half an hour, she, she was completely drained. Now, uh, after an hour and a half, she says, okay, can we still play a bit? Uh, Pierre's reference to heat tolerance is very interesting because I've also experienced better management of feeling hot and cold. I don't get those bone chills anymore in the winter, and I'm much more tolerant of the heat we've been having in Europe this summer. Now, Pierre was kind enough to share something he had told me privately about results his wife was experiencing. Check this out. Do you mind sharing the private comment you made to me about one of the improvements your wife noticed? Oh, well, <laughs> basically, uh, in the last uh, few couple of years, uh, uh, her small breasts started to go slightly down. And then uh, last week, she, she looked at her hair, herself and her breasts were again firm and, and higher up as they had been like five years ago. And she was like shocked. Uh, and say, well, that's, uh, you know, you spent now uh, uh, one month or one month and a half of, on M&M, and, and, and uh, that's uh, logical, and that's uh, understandable, at least. Talk uh, about that, turning back the else. clock. Wow. And that is something that uh, that men and women can appreciate. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd be curious to to uh, hear if other uh, women out there have experienced anything like that. I've heard, we've heard about menopausal symptoms um, improving, postmenopause uh, symptoms improving dramatically in some cases, but uh, that's a new one and I appreciate you sharing that. I know it's a, it's a private topic, but you know, it, first of all, it proves Pierre is French, <laughs> that he is more open than most of us in the world to talk about such matters, but it's so important, you know, up here that women, you know, hear a perspective like that, you know, from another woman and, and understand that, you know, we, we're we aging. That doesn't mean we have to be old, right? We, we There are things we can do today in this world with supplements, obviously eating healthy. I've also cut back on bread a lot. I know it's tough and it's another thing that's hard to fathom for someone in France to be saying, yeah, I'm eating bread once a week. <laughs> you know, that's not so simple in France if you've if you've ever been there or seen the pastries and the bread items that they have there uh, every day fresh. It's, uh, it's a, that's a big thing that you've done. 